tastes like the holidays. Welcome and welcome back. My name is Ryan. I'm glad that you're here. It is the holiday season and I am excited. Now, if you don't know me very well, to know me is to know that I love Christmas and the holidays and I love spoiling all of the people that are closest to me. The one downside of the holidays is that I often neglect myself. So over the last month, I have spent some time organizing my shop and trying to get everything where I want it to be as far as lumber racks, cleat wall that I have built. So that way the tools I use most often are most easily accessible and I get some of the clutter off of the floor and onto its individual spots. So that way it's easier for me to access and I don't trip over things, which has only happened a couple times, but a couple too many in my opinion. Come with me while I go ahead and make this lumber rack and other various things in order to help improve my workflow. And thank you so much for watching. Danny, E.B., the 
to do so. Project Wood. complete it'll hold all right it's 40 degrees outside so we're gonna solve another problem new hat because I'm gonna be working with the table saw I don't want to have a lot of stuff around my arms so we're gonna to try to stay as warm as possible today. The next thing to conquer since we have the lumber rack done is some tool storage. And as you can see, I kind of have my tools laying on the ground and boxes are up on a shelf, but they're very hard to access. So some things that we're gonna focus on today is building something for my French feet wall to house some of my tools that I more regularly use. That way I don't have to keep getting them in and out of their container or boxes. I can just have them on the shelf available. Let me show you some things we're gonna real quick doing. Glue bottles, my router, there. My sander, my drill, and my impact driver. Drill bits, more drill bits, more drill bits, some hand tools, measuring tools, Practice chisels because I'm not about to buy good chisels and then ruin them. Router bits. And I think that's where we'll stop. My workbench is not cluttered. Give me a second and I'll remove all this. For the record, all these things are going to be tried to get fixed. So I bought some things in order to kind of help get me started. Because again, this is for the French feet wall, so I've not made these before. I have done some research. So some things that I bought to aid in this. These are metallic bars, or magnet bars, I apologize. And I'm gonna attach these to some boards that I can then attach to the wall. These should be able to hold some loose tools, drill bits, things of that nature, as long as I don't, actually it should also hold the chisels as well because those are technically metal but I should check. So that works. I also went by Menards and these are scrap shelving that broke. I got these for basically free. So I'm just gonna chop off the damaged parts and form some straight edges and then use those instead of like plywood. This isn't, this isn't ideal but I mean, we're gonna get started. It's the first time I'm doing something like this. So these are most likely going to get very, very replaced. But more, these are very dense and heavy. Ugh. But I think once I cut them down, they'll be fine. Some of them are chipped, but again, we're gonna cut them down. It's gonna be fine. Since we're working with heavier stuff, I'm putting on my apron. On the off chance I get some kickback, I don't want that to come back and hit me super hard. So yeah, let's get to it.
my friends have been shaming me for not using this and I really should be using it so rightfully shamed and now it's on.
Thank you so much again for watching. Please like, subscribe, share if you want to show people what I've done here and what I'm about. Watch the other videos that are available as well. And I look forward to you guys seeing what I can do over this next year. i got some fun projects coming up, including some small little hangable bookshelves, uh, a book rack for my future niece. Um, and as well as as well as a pantry, uh, it's in order to get all of the foodstuffs out of my garage and into the house, so I can have no more concerns about that. Bye.